Oftentimes when we think of people in powerful positions, we may look at them and say such things such as, he or she was born in wealth. They must have done things to get to this position of power. The rich never seem to pay taxes, or even they must have taken part in some sort of illegal activity. Well, yes, I'm not going to contradict this way of thinking simply because we do see people of power who seem to be literally in that gray area of what is correct and what isn't. After all, if there wasn't any corruption in politics, religion, big corporate companies and so forth, well, we would be living in a much more peaceful world. Even though we all know that people living on Earth aren't always correct, I still want to believe that it's only a small percentage of people that are corrupt and that actually a great part of humanity is not ill-intentioned, that most people are actually good-spirited. In order to speak about integrity, we must understand its definition. Integrity is the quality of being honest and having strong moral principle, moral uprightness. In business throughout the world, thanks to the advent of the internet, television and social media, we have literally evolved into an informational-based society in which any sort of corruption can easily spread like a wildfire. And with that, it's becoming clearer and clearer that values of ethics and integrity are primordial to our society, customers, and employees. So, well, for any company or person seeking a career in any field, they must be aware of their own value statement. What I mean by that is that a value statement is a set of values that you hold most dear to yourself. Well, it's going to vary from person to person, but basically these values are what makes you proud of what you are doing and actually makes you who you are. Breaking any of these set of rules will go against your whole value system. A simple example of this is lying about your taxes. If you are running a business, if you don't declare your earnings correctly, eventually the IRS will catch you. All of this starts with being a leader. This doesn't mean you are the boss of any company. It could simply be that you are the leader of your own career. But if you walk the talk, then you better talk the walk. Everybody who is in a position of success is going to have people working alongside them. As a successful entrepreneur, you need to trust the people working with you and be sure to abide to a couple of behavioral patterns. Number one, keep your promises. Kind of like politicians making promises during election periods, a successful person is someone who actually sticks to his and her word and does what he or she says. The problem with that is that a lot of times sticking to whatever you say is extremely difficult. I found that it's important to have big goals, but actually getting to them may take years. This is why in whatever promise you make, you must have small goals as well as big goals. It becomes even more prominent when you're working with other people. We're a society that is driven by results. So if you are seeking something huge right away, that may not be possible. Whereas setting smaller goals and making a checklist as you complete them will make you feel more accomplished and in the end, accountable to yourself. Number two, be fair. Whatever you're trying to achieve, you're only as powerful as its weakest link. By that, I mean you are only as powerful as what the people working alongside you are willing to give you. Leaders with integrity may not be the most famous or glamorous, but it doesn't really matter. Being fair means making the right decision because it is the right thing to do. We have specific rules that are implemented in our society and as somebody seeking success in one's career path, you may come into situations where you may need to do just that. An example of this is not giving raises to your employees. Not because you can't afford it, but because work is scarce and you know that your employees will still work for you even without the raise. The fear of not having a job is bigger than the want to get a raise. The problem with that way of thinking is that you won't have any loyal followers. Maybe people will keep working for you, but they may not be giving their best because they don't feel appreciated. Number three, stop being judgmental. This goes hand in hand with being fair. It's very simple in life to say something is good or bad, but by judging things only in two colors, green or red, then we're missing out on the complete spectrum of colors that are present in the universe. Or if you want to compare it to traffic light, many things in life are orange. This is why we live in a society where we have a bunch of laws, and even though laws are laws, we have judges, lawyers, and a bunch of protocols before we pass laws or put people in prison. This is also why what once was law can change with time. As somebody with integrity and trying to succeed in their career, we must look at circumstances and never be too quick to make conclusions. Think of an immigrant who crossed the border illegally. We can easily get into a belief system that these people are taking our jobs and that they are just taking government money. But if you really think about it, 
they can't really take most people's jobs because they don't have the diplomas to get the supposed good jobs. Also, you got to put yourself in their shoes. If you were in a country filled with poverty, lack of food, and war, all of us would do what we need to do in order to survive. We as humans have a survival instinct. It's just nature. Number four, give credit where it's due. Nobody in this world has made it by themselves. Okay, I'm not saying that you can't be self-made. There's a difference. What I mean is that we're all born as helpless babies and without somebody to give us food, we wouldn't have survived to adulthood. Even people who have their own business need to deal with ordering products, renting a place for their office, using the internet, or even rely on some sort of transportation in order to get there. There are too many examples here, but what I'm trying to say is that everything you see around you is thanks to the hard work of other people working in symbiosis in order to create the current world that we live in. Think about the internet, for example. Without it, most businesses would not be able to operate efficiently and create money for their own operation to work. Don't take things for granted. If you have employees, thank them for their work. If you don't have employees, but deal with resellers, simply be respectful to them and be happy that they always deliver on time. And simply be happy that you live in a modern world where you can travel from one side of the world to the other in less than 24 hours, where there is modern medicine and an abundance of food. Number five, communicate efficiently. Good leaders are people that know how to express their goals verbally to everyone around them. Whether the news is good or bad, people will respect you more if you are honest to them and share the good with the bad. Sometimes leaders think that not telling things or hiding things would protect the people around them. But the truth is that if things are bad, eventually word will spread out. Not making people want to worry about things can actually result in more disastrous results once they find out. People with integrity are not afraid to face the truth. Being able to face the world realistically is the most important part of being someone with integrity. It shows vision and prospect. Dreaming is amazing, but if you are only dreaming, then basically you become Don Quixote, fighting giants in a field of windmills. The giants are simply a figment of your imagination, and reality is too harsh to look at. Leaders need to be courageous, but they also need to accept the idea of being wrong. Failure is a part of success. Without it, you can't accomplish your biggest dreams. I really do hope that you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed sharing this topic with you. You know the YouTube drill, please subscribe and hit the like button, especially if you feel like you learned something. Have a great day and I'll see you in the next video.